Spec gets a crack at mastering Reboot. Will we be able to do it? Uh, definitely we're going to start by losing all of our money and trying to get a rare card. Either we get Reboot or we get a different, better rare card. And maybe that's the best option of all. Oh. Well. I'm not one to ignore a Meteor Strike offered. For free. I'm going to grab this thing. Meteor Strike is literally unplayable in the starting deck, but we have all game to find a way to play it. And if we can play it, good things will visit upon us. That's that's how I mentalize the, the Meteor Strike, especially offered at the start of the game. Uh, there's a lot of different things that can happen to make Meteor Strike immediately accessible slash available. And if we find any of them, we can really transform this deck quite radically. Take a few combats to start. I think we'll perform a little bit worse in fights thanks to the Meteor Strike, but overall Defect is pretty good at combats in the early game of Spire. So I'd like to just get some cards added. What we'll do here is dual cast. We should be able to kill the front one. Um, we'll be able to kill one of them with a strike after dual cast, no matter what the pattern is here. We either get double front, which means immediately dead, double back, which means we can kill it with one strike, or one in one, which means we can kill the front one with a strike. So no matter what happens here, we're able to kill one louse afterwards, block for five, take two. And if we had struck the front one twice, we could have double blocked and taken zero. Dual cast, good stuff. And then we have to take two more. That's okay. And there it is. Immediately we find one of the ways to play a Meteor Strike. Liquid Memories can fetch any card from the discard pile. Note that you didn't have to actually play it for it to be in the discard pile. Uh, and makes it zero cost. That is the key that unlocks the first Elite fight for us. We can kill any Elite as long as we have this Liquid Memories. Uh, and here's Double Energy, also theoretically a way to play a Meteor Strike, but we would have to upgrade Double Energy first and draw them together. It might be more reasonable to take a Leap or a Bullseye here because the Double Energy does not improve our combat performance in the next two fights. Currently we have one dead card, but you add two dead cards and suddenly even the Jawworm is looking at dealing 20 damage to you. Now, if this was a turbo, I would have already clicked on it. Because turbo lets us play it immediately in the upcoming fights. I think I'm going to take the bullseye. I don't feel like we're in a position where we can actually afford to take the double energy there. I think you res I think that that line visits immediate failure. Yeah, r right here. Because we have a bullseye, I'm not going to play the dual cast. We're going to keep this lightning orb. So imagine this hand is a double energy instead. You just draw strike defend. That would be a sad time. Uh, is that a kill? We're just... That is a kill, right? We do 18 plus 4. Yes, that is a kill. Thanks to Bullseye. Potion of Capacity gives us two orb slots. That's kind of what evs. Hello World. You know, I kind of like it, actually. Claw is here, but but what about Hello World? The Skrid says, why is there a Meteor Strike? Why wouldn't there be a Meteor Strike? That's my question back. Are you not an 18th level wizard? Because I am. I'm going to take this Hello World. Hello World can give you claws. You know what else can Hello World can give you? 
Turbo. That's not a turbo, though. That's the line here. Probably want to go Bullseye Zap. Bullseye Zap. Tick one. That's also not a turbo. Get with the program defect. Again, Bullseye giving us just enough damage to score a kill. It's a good pick. Whip and Tear's Steam Barrier Claw. Claw number two. Could have had two claws, Twitch chat. How do you know which card is a turbo and which card is not a turbo? Oh, this one's easy. If the card name is in all capital letters, it's a turbo. Otherwise, it's not a turbo. I'm going to grab a steam barrier here. I like block. Oh, no. This is not how things were meant to go. I think we want to strike the Laos, get rid of it quickly. It has so few hit points. And it's going to weaken us repeatedly, which makes the cultist hard to deal with. Truly a shame. Do we bullseye? I think I go dual cast, hella world, defend. Next turn's gonna get a little bit rough here. I was going chaos, raven wing. Have such a hard time building defect decks. It's really tough. Inspire, you're constantly forced to build for the next objective. Um, and defect, defect has sort of a lot of long-term plans you're trying to get towards. And it can be really difficult to reconcile those two goals with each other. How do you build for the long-term while also surviving the short-term? Very tricky. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I if I ever bullseye here. Let's just dual cast. Good. Yeah, forget bullseye, forget bullseye. I need that card draw. Cool headed, not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it. This is getting worse, not better. Now we need to be able to dual cast a lightning orb. Just forget the cool headed, I think. It's probably better than four damage, surely. Here we go. But we want to strike rather than recursion, because we're going to go bullseye, dual cast, next turn to kill. That should be plenty of damage. There's the turbo. So yeah, just look, look for the caps, that's how you know. Okay, that wasn't bad, actually. We managed to avoid using the liquid memories. Uh, I would have happily used the other potion in this fight had it been able to do anything for us. Oh, man. How many claws does it take? I think with a bullseye in the deck, I'll actually grab a darkness here. That's a good answer to the Lagavulin fight uh, and a potential boss killer. Run it back, they say. Now, we have a different plan this, this run. That makes me want to upgrade the bullseye. Could also see upgrading Zap or Dual Cast here. I like having an upgraded Zap in a deck with a Meteor Strike. We'll get another upgrade momentarily, I suppose. We're going to go this way. Fight two Elites. Pretty comfortable with the Liquid Memories. Paul, not Saul. Thanks for the two months. Finally hit 810 on all characters. You're heckin' welcome for the assist. Let's upgrade Darkness here. Grab, uh... Ooh, two more random upgrades. Heck yeah. I don't even mind if Hello World gets upgraded. That's that's where we're at right now. Defend and strike, perfectly fine by me. Is 31 health going to be enough? I did want an upgraded zap. Let's let's risk it for the biscuit. Four upgraded cards means we can get quite a lot done in these elite fights. And we also get the help from a relic, that relic being Toxic Egg. That does not actually help us. Yet. 
That does make me want to risk things a little bit less and maybe fight one fewer elite this act. Although we only ever fight one Grumlin Ob, Sentries and Lagavulin should both be really easy for this deck. No, I think we'll be okay. It's Gremlin Ob immediately, but we get Darkness and Hello World turn one, so I think this dude is toast. I could Liquid Memories Darkness immediately. But I don't think that actually helps. I think we might need Meteor Strike to evoke the Darkness. All right. Rorg. Etc. Yeah, we get Meteor Strike this turn, which means Liquid Memories Meteor Strike next turn. Which means he's dead next turn. Just have to not... Fail to draw Bullseye, I guess. Do we ever want to dual cast? Probably Bullseye dual cast, Liquid Memories Meteor Strike. There's some other things we could do, too. So that means we definitely play Steam Barrier. Probably play Defend. I guess we should do math. So we either draw Strike, Strike, Dual Cast, or... Bullseye, Strike, Strike, or Bullseye, Strike, Dual Cast. One of those three. I think if we draw Bullseye, he's super toast, right? This is going to do 24, that's 36 damage, plus 24, that's 60 already. So yeah, Scrumlin Ob will be super dead if we draw the Bullseye, period. If we draw Dual Cast Strike Strike, we can do 16 plus 15, 31 plus 24 plus lots. Yeah, yeah, he's super dead regardless, thanks to Liquid Memories. So what I'm getting at here is that we play the Defend, we don't play Zap or Strike. We only take three damage. There's no way to get through this without using the Liquid Memories, though, from the looks of it. Bop. We get a ton of money, and we score a Stone Calendar, giving, 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 ah, giving us guaranteed turn 7 damage in some fights, notably useful against Guardian and potentially Legavulin. Oh, and one of my favorite cards, Equilibrium, with a plus on it, no less. I like this in particular for utility with the Meteor Strike. Being able to retain either Meteor Strike or cards that enable Meteor Strike is going to allow us to play Meteor Strike more than we currently do, which is not at all, really. Dark Orbs always target the enemy with the lowest health, so I think we're all but obliged to kill the Spike Slime first here. I can also retain Dual Cast, which can matter. Where do we want this to go? Actually, we don't even need to use the Dark Orb to do that. Let's just go... Defend, defend, bullseye here. Kill it with a strike next turn. Tell the Jawworm to take a turn off. Your toast, sir. Buttered toast. Strength Potion. <laughs> Could have had four claws. And a Toxic Egg. Kind of cute, actually. There's a Leap Plus here, which is a pretty good block. We would like maybe a bit better block going into Guardian. I really don't dislike Leap very much. I think it's a great card. Continue to click on the things that say plus on them. And here's another fight that I think is pretty easy. Sentries.
Hey, where's the leap, though? That card improved our deck by leaps and bounds. We actually have quite a bit of difficulty evoking our Dark Orb currently. Slight problem. Actually, I guess it's more than a slight problem. Oh, nice draw. Really nice draw. Just add block cards. Dark Orbs always target the enemy with the lowest health. So if we dual cast the Dark Orb, it kills this one and then this one, which is perfect. Because then the Stone Calendar kills the middle one. We get a Kunai. If we play three attacks in one turn, we'll gain Dexterity. That makes the block cards we've added pretty dang spectacular and there's the card we've been waiting for turbo plus with the equilibrium now gives us the ability to play this meteor strike finally and that's where things can start to get silly it says plus oh i know imagine the kunai with the four claws I, I still think it would be pretty bad until we see a skim plus. And even then, I'll, I'll feel like the current deck is, is really good also. All right, I'll gamble on this. I'll gamble on this. Easy every time, take one. Energy Potion, that's also a way to play Meteor Strike. Oh, there's the Skim Plus. Well, I'm taking that. That's awesome. <laughs> you were saying? Here's what I'm saying. I'm saying the Meteor Strike deck that I'm making is going to be better than your Claw deck. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just you wait. That's better than skim milk, skim plus. <laughs> Mom's like, we have skim plus at home. It's just skim milk with fortified vitamins. Milk with extra water. And yet when the bar tries to do that, it's illegal. It doesn't make any sense. Chaos Plus can create... Other orb types, notably Plasma. This is a way to get Plasma Orbs, and I quite like that. It's also a way to evoke the Plasma Orbs created by the Meteor Strike, uh, or to rotate Dark Orbs to the front. I like that quite a bit, too. Not the world's worst Compile Driver. We would like more card draw. Yeah, double fusion. Just create more orbs. All right. We made it to the Act 1 boss, the Guardian. Did do two elites, no problem, as anticipated. We've got a great set of cards, some good potions, a lot of long-term potential in the relics, but not actually a whole lot that provides immediate utility. I think we're pretty good in the Guardian fight, but there's definitely the possibility for us to get slapped. So I, I like a preemptive rest here, just to sort of lock this in. We could definitely upgrade a card of our choosing if we wanted to upgrade Steam Barrier or Bullseye or Dual Cast or even Meteor Strike. 
We could probably get away with that, but there's a small chance we'll lose the run if we do. I think I'd rather just rest here. Get to 40 hit points and then definitely continue into the next act and get to look at an upgraded rare card choice and such. That sounds nice. Did I want to use the strength potion? Maybe. Too late now. That's one of the things we get to keep because of our resting anyway. And I don't even think it would have made a difference, right? Even if we had six more, we have, what, 16, 22 damage? We're nine short, so yeah, we're, we're taking this hit. This is why we rested right here, this draw order. And I'm cool with that. Seems fine to me. But also, ouch. Yeah, so I think we actually would just be straight dead if I hadn't rested. With these being the top 10 cards. Cool. I feel justified. Still need to transform by next turn. Um, Chaos, what do you got? Hexed Dragon! Thanks so much for the... For joining the list of channel cuties. Welcome, welcome. All hail Twitch chat, a new channel cutie. Somebody who's been around long enough to accumulate the required a half mil in channel points. Pretty cool. You're on the list. All right, Chaos, what do you have? One Lightning Orb. So that'll be enough, then. Bullseye Strike transforms here. And then next turn we take more damage, if so. Or I can Equilibrium transform next turn. And get stuff in play. I guess I'll do that. We have to block 15 on the following turn, but that's no biggie. That's no biggie at all. So we go Hello World, Darkness, and turn. This turn, 15 damage incoming. But we have some, yeah, some block cards to draw into. And I could even play Ball Lightning. Instead of Zap. I don't want to play Zap, though, because I'd rather keep this... Plasma Orb. For the energy here. Cool. Next turn, we can play Meteor Strike. Exciting. And I can do that even if I were to choose to hypothetically darkness this turn. We also have Stone Calendar coming in next turn, so we're going to absolutely slap the Guardian so hard. It's not even going to know what happens. Let's go Turbo. Bullseye. Wabam. The damage. Now that's what I call damage. I should have just struck it. Cool. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. We lived. We keep both potions. That's the trade for resting. Um, and I'm I'm really quite happy with the choices we made in Act 1. I think we've come out of it with tons of cash, tons of cool upgraded cards, including, look at that, Reboot 
plus, which I think is genuinely very good as a card here. Shuffle all of our cards back into the draw pile, then draw six new cards. Really like this with Equilibrium in particular. Fission would have also been really sweet in this deck, but we're absolutely clicking on the uh, unmastered card for our challenge here. Samson Jamson also joining the illustrious list of channel cuties. Let me get you added right away. Looks like we need some more celebration in chat for Samson Jamson. Welcome, welcome to the list. Yeah, where's the take all button? Click. And there's also a boss relic. Come on, Pandora's box. What do you got? Runic Pyramid or Snekawai. Wait a minute, Snekawai Meteor Strike. Easy. Claw Enjoyers get wrecked. The eye is here. So that we have a Snekawai Meteor Strike deck. Runic Pyramid Meteor Strike, also genuinely really good. Might even be better than the Sneko version, quite frankly. I like it with Kunai. Darkness really enjoys Runic Pyramid. Or the key, so we can also get clumsy. The Giga Brain approach from Twitch Chat. <laughs> no, I'm going to take the Pyramid, I think. Pyramid over Snekoi here. And I, I was thinking Snekoi was the best boss relic to, to find, but given that we have the turbo, I think it is actually just Pyramid. The goal then becomes draw a billion upgraded skills and play them all. And remove all of our strikes at the shops. We can do three shops as long as I can defeat a Burning Elite. Easy. I guess I could also do something else. What do we got else for paths? Actually, not that many better options. Let's hit the first shop and see what it looks like. Maybe if I spend all my money, I won't want to fight the Burning Elite. Take one event along the way, or do we go pure combats for more Toxic Egg rewards? I feel like we take damage in some of the Act 2 combats. That was actually the, the big advantage of the Snekawai, is that we're way less likely to get donked on turn one by the Avocado. Fortunately, this is not the Avocado. Really like Reboot with Runic Pyramid. Really like it. This gets me a dexterity, but I think I'd rather channel the Dark Orb with that cooking at six per turn. And then Turbo can either let us play Meteor Strike, which will then give us energy to clear our hand, or it gives us the energy to clear our hand, which will then let us draw Meteor Strike. Either way, we win. Chaos puts our Dark Orb in front. Dual cast to double cast it. I guess we don't even need to dual cast it. Zap. And another Strength Potion. And an Overclock Plus. I like that quite a lot with Runic Pyramid. I like that quite a lot. Although that's kind of bad with Reboot. Because it can immediately put the draw, the burn into the draw pile. I still think I want it here. Hello World a little bit bad with Runic Pyramid? It definitely has the potential to be. Um, although if we're generating enough energy, it won't matter. What is it you seek? What is it you offer? Says the Skull. You can take colorless cards, potions, money, or simply leave. I like that you're offering me money right before a shop, especially since I can potentially go to multiple shops. I'll take some money here. We have 40 health. We heal for, what, 19 when we rest? So 33 plus 19 is... 52. 
52 sounds like enough. I don't think I click a third time. Behind you, mortal. Thanks for the money, sir. Oh yeah, I'm immediately glad I added Overclock to this deck. Because then we get to do this for our first hand. Which is definitely much better. Hmm. Take two, play the darkness, keep the turbo, or play the turbo, play the whole hand. I do want to keep that turbo. Play the darkness. Take two. Yeah, having skim and turbo is good. Dual cast kills you now. Could also do zap, dual cast the plasma, have tons of energy. This would deal 27. We can still finish it. Let's do that. Zap. Dual cast. Strike. Strike. Defend. Defend. Reboot. Darkness. Strike. Kill next turn with dual cast. That's quite clean. Go for the eyes. Really nice with Runic Pyramid. Really nice with Kunai as a way to gain dexterity. Quite like go for the eyes here. Would prefer an upgraded version, but with the Toxic Egg, we can probably just afford to upgrade it, given that we'll get plenty of upgraded skills. So I'm going to grab this. Wow. Um. Pretty sure I buy both of those things. It's even on sale, the multicast. So we get a super dual cast. Evoke our next orb X plus three times. That's that's awesome. Yeah, and we can buy a remove. And we still have enough money for the next couple of shops to be attractive too. I could put it for the same price I could have Hello World. <laughs> Just imagine. A dual cast plus plus. <laughs> Tell the hearts. I said, hello. I think I just want to proceed into... The rest site and the burning elite now. I'd rather take an event than a combat. Even if that event is the stinky altar, we could buy a Momori for that, but then the shop is bad. Probably won't do that. Could do something like buy a regen potion, but I like the current potions just fine. Strength potion is a little weak, but I wouldn't want wouldn't want to discard a bonus to pick up a different bonus. Feels inefficient to me. Oh yeah, we have the golden idol, so we, we don't even we don't even be upset by that. Cool. And besides, it was a treasure chest full of money and or a calcum. Provides guaranteed block if we don't block. I like that as a worst case scenar scenario avoidance mechanism. Good for not getting murdered at turn one by slavers, for example. Sure. Could also take the blue key if we want it instead, but I like it for the immediate help. Getting through this burning elite is going to be a, a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to take every little advantage we can get. Sir39, thanks for the prime sub. Uh, welcome to the cozy sub club. I think with the dual cast plus plus plus... We're going to be in pretty good shape, even against, yes, the deadly triple slavers. And not just that, but triple slavers with regeneration, and they all high-rolled their hit points. Spooky. Definitely spooky. Spooky. 
definitely need to play Darkness. I probably should play Hello World. That means keeping the regular defend, taking 21 damage. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we really want to play this Hello World. This can create orb generating cards, which would be crucial. It can also make other important cards. I'm not going to use any potions yet. I like that. Okay, let's use the Strength Potion. I think we need all the help we can get here, as mentioned. If we get through this fight, we're, we're fine. But we do have to survive this fight. Where's my tweak in the front one? That's okay. I'm gonna not play any other cards before rebooting because we want to be able to play the Meteor Strike. Although note, as, as mentioned before, because now there's three wounds here in the discard pile, the reshuffling of these cards is pretty undesirable. The fact that it draws six, though, is too good to ignore here. Ha. You do draw the Meteor Strike, but we also get the Void. Good news is we do have Energy Potion, so I am still allowed to play that if I wish. Well, I'm not sure that I do wish. I'm tempted to skim here instead. I guess if I Energy Potion Meteor Strike... Kill the back guy. Not becoming vulnerable seems important. Then I have one energy left. I can play... Go for the eyes and the defend plus. We barely take anything. Yeah, let's just use the Energy Potion also. Yeah. Take two. Oh ho! Now we can perform shenanigans. Unlimited power. So there's actually quite a few things we can do on this turn. I'm fond of this line. We play Darkness, Dual Cast, Multicast, with Chemical X, Evoke this way too many times. We have 26 energy now. Hologram, Multicast Plus, Evoke this Dark Orb 28 times. And we get a Thread and Needle. Good times. Ooh, Recursion with a plus on it. I really like this. Uh, we're doing Orb shenaniganry now, so... Recursion is awesome, basically. Talk about overkill. We're going to be doing that a lot. Any boss fight we get into, that's our strategy. Yeah, we do shenanigans like this now. Let's keep the rest here. Toasty. Another Dark Orb source. Doom and Gloom Plus. Can slap pretty hard. Or more Card Draw. Compile Driver Plus. This deck wants Card Draw. And then one more energy generating card, maybe. Dark Stone Periap. That's what we're taking the blue key over. This would give us max health when obtaining a curse. Pretty funny if you'd taken Cursed Key. And then this is in the second chest after opening the Cursed Key. Oh, so sad. More skimmage. Wait, violence! Get in here! 
All right, good talk. Um, madness can do shenaniganry. Card removal can do shenaniganry. Yeah, violence is good. Good times. I guess we're not going to this shop then. We've spent all our money. Yeah, madness meteor is kind of cool. Violence fetching meteor strike is really cool. That actually makes it even better to remove strikes then, because it'll always get uh, meteor strike. So removing is good here, unironically, because it's a buff to violence. And don't you forget it. Perfection. Play Hello World? Why not? Perfection. Get him, multicast. This is so much fun to play. Hologram! Even better. Hologram lets us fetch any card from the discard pile, like, oh, I don't know, multicast? Plus? Perfect. It's a card that scales off the kunai, too. Ah, there's the Forgotten Altar. She calls out to you demanding sacrifice. Give up our golden idol to gain a bloody idol, healing us for five whenever we gain gold. That's pretty nice. I'll take that, I suppose. Good sustain for Act 3. Could also lose some max health, go to very low health, and keep the golden idol. We'll gain a bunch of health from resting anyway. But I think I'll just take the, the healing for the late act. We're doing okay here. There are some situations where it's, I think, the better line to keep the golden idol to gain the additional money. But this doesn't feel like one of those to me. Let's upgrade Bullseye. Purple Fire Spirits. We can donate a card to the Purple Fire Spirits. Here. Depending on the rarity of card donated, we'll gain a boon of some kind. Uh, notably, if we donate Hello World here, we'll get full healed. I think this is definitely a time where we could get rid of Hello World. We now have all the good cards we want in the deck as it is. Um, if we wanted max health, we'd have to give up a rare card. I'm not going to give up Violence, Multicast, Reboot, or Meteor Strike, though. Those are the core pieces of the deck or the core mastery targets. So, yeah, let's lose Hello World. Goodbye, world. Hello, full health. So wait, it was correct to keep the gold medal. Dang it. <laughs> At least I upgraded instead of resting at the first rest site. And we'll still have healing for uh, next act, too. Wow, this, oh, this overclock drawing on turn one has been so good. begins. There's too much block in this deck. There's some dark orbs. Excellence. This won't be that much damage, though. I guess we just hold on to it, huh? 
or we can just reboot. Let's multicast the plasma then. Just get a lot of energy and reboot. Cool. were performed. So we have to block 20, no, 31. Currently have 12. 22, 29. Let's use the EQ then. Cast, where have you been? I have to evoke this 11 times. I may or may not be able to do that. Let's start with a few things here. Skim will draw all four cards that we need. So we can hologram a turbo if we wish. Eight of five, then eight. It's not enough without the bullseye, huh? Hmm. Guess in that case we hologram, go for the eyes. We block for a bit more. forward 36 times this much. GG. So we perfected that fight. Didn't even need to heal. Lots of money. And our choice of Core Surge Electro Machine Learning. Not the rares we were hoping for. And distressingly, no reboot yet. But there is good stuff. I don't think we need the AoE of Electrodynamics. Vito, thanks for the seven months in the Prime sub. I keep watching, you keep silent. Sounds good to me. Move Every Zig says, do you think devs should try to perfect balance or is it okay for some cards to be way better than others in solo roguelite? Um, I think it's actually important for some cards to be better than others in a solo roguelite. If the cards are too well balanced against one each other, they're all like exactly the same power level somehow, then your choices don't matter because all roads lead to the same conclusion if all of the cards somehow provide the same amount of value. Um, even if you, you can, of course, like contextualize and conditionalize a lot of them, but... Uh, if, if the cards are too well balanced, then you end up in a situation where then every run just kind of feels the same. You could either do the same strategy or achieve the same means um, so consistently that there's not any variation to enjoy. I think we can happily take Core Surge here. Machine learning could be useful, but with the Pyramid and our other card draw cards... I think it's not that important, but Core Surge definitely has utility. We could combine this with um, a Speed Potion in particular would be really helpful. Uh, or we can just use it to do stuff like block particular debuffs, such as the Hearts of Vulnerable, if we can get it on turn one. Violence will draw it as well, so it's easier to get into our hand when we need it. I think that's just fine. There's the Pandora's box. There's only six cards to transform. Or I could take more base energy via Coffee Dripper, which makes 
a lot of sense to pick thanks to the Bloody Idol. This deck would definitely love more energy to get started with. What was my job before I streamed full-time? I was a chemistry teacher. Quite enjoyed that. Do I consider the Pandora's Glitch cheating? Yes, for the purposes of Ascension 20, streaking wins, using the Pandora's Box to remove all your strikes and defends is, would be cheating. You can do it in a speed run, but you can do a lot of things in a speed run. I wouldn't say my teaching attitude was as chill as my streaming attitude. Ollie Yubi says, no wonder you're so good at the game, you know the exact formula to the cards. Well, as I often like to say, chemists know all the solutions. Transformation could give us, um, yeah, it could give us another reboot, that's true. So if we're purely looking to try to get cards, that might be the, the pick here. Never trust an atom, they make up everything. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. And Jarek Baza, what did the chlorines atom say to the sodium atom? I've got my eye on you. Hmm. Playing this on base three energy should be kind of fun too. What's in the box? Well, there is no reboot, but there is the Bias Kong that somebody promised me. There's also very powerfully an all-for-one here, which can return all zero-cost cards to our hand. That's Overclock and Recursion and Go for the Eyes and Turbo, Steam Barrier, Zap, and Recycle. That's pretty good. That Recycle in particular is really powerful here, allowing us to exhaust a card and generate for ourselves energy equal to what it costs. We're also allowed to take this path, which totally has five elites on it. Excellent. That's what you like to see, and that's where the Bloody Idol is really gonna help out. Five elites add five more relics to this deck, and, and perhaps just as importantly, Five card rewards with boosted rarity for a chance at reboot. This also matters. Totally not seated. Trust me. Hmm. Or don't. Aha. We can actually just let Orc Huckum block, so I don't need to play the Steam Barrier here. We also have a Self Repair for consistent healing, I've realized. Hmm. Quite a bit I can do here. Can even hologram all for one to get back a whole ton of cards. There's a lot of different lines here. Let's do this one. Good old multicast. Grab another hologram. Genetic algorithm might be appealing, but heck no. Hologram is one of the strongest, if not the strongest card we can find right now. Allowing us to fetch any card and play it over and over and over again is just perfect. Oof, this is where I wish we had more energy. So I could play the... Um, play the Sunder here. But I, I guess just having Orichalcum is fine. We don't even need to stop this thing from attacking for the moment. Let's kill the others. And now I've got energy for days. 
Perfect. Bonk. Imagine being stuck with a claw deck here. This is too fun. Solaris, thanks for the two months of support and the Prime sub. But I hear about the cult that worships violence. Their beliefs are just whack. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Those wacky cultists. Do we want to go recursion compile? Yeah, violence. I choose violence. I choose meteor strike. I choose to turn it into energy. Six more energy, please. Mm. This is fine. Get recursion turbo back with all for one. Oh, I love it. That's the hand I want to have. So we recycle that. Play Zap. Play multicast. Offer one gets back. Zap and recycle. Just play chaos, I guess. And then hologram the multicast. So we evoke this for 12 times 19. GG nerd. That's fun. Second turbo. I think with the recycle, we don't need a second turbo. I would take an aggregate, though. Oh. And it's on sale, you beautiful merchant, you. Get in here, reboot. Number two, double reboot with Toxic Egg. If it's going to happen anytime, it's going to happen now. Perfect. Could kiss the merchant, I'm so happy. It's like a cool headed, too. Big old smooch. But I need to do damage now. This enemy's tough. Transient requires that we dish out some damage basically each and every turn. And if we're unable to achieve that, things can get difficult for us. We're okay, though. I would like my multicast back, I suppose. Digging. Tough call. I think we keep digging. Keep that weaken up too. Seems important. That means we gotta lose multicast again, I think. 
buy ourselves some time. Okay, here we go. We got Recycle and All for One, which will fetch some important stuff. Does that mean we're recycling Meteor Strike? No, it means we're recycling Sunder. Don't be silly. Get back. Overclock, Zap, Steam Barrier, go for the eyes, recycle in that order. So I need to make room in my hand. Also missed the recursion, I think. Good. There we go. Now we can play Meteor Strike. Then we have a ton of energy next turn. Cool. Violence works again. Behold the violence inherent in the system. Might be able to kill Transient suddenly on this turn. Hold on. Can I kill Transient here? I want to try. Driver? Nothing to multicast yet. So then all for one fetches a bunch of stuff again. So dual cast. Chaos. All for one. Get rid of auto shields. Play this, play this. Overclock drawing into these is pretty spicy, actually. All right, I will continue to do stuff that isn't the primary goal. Still have one more turn coming up, right? Not if we kill this turn. Easy. Guess I'll get recycle. Do some stuff here. Turbo, Darkness, Zap, Recursion, Reboot. Perfect. Keep going. There's Multicast. So now we can deal 24 times... like 20? Got all this energy on this turn. Maybe even a little bit more. Is there anything else that I can improve things by doing? Not really. So let's just do the big cast. Here and now. Get him. Only we had a double energy here. Still, that's pretty dang good. I bet we can do the rest of the damage next turn. If we so desire. Not if I draw that, though. Hold on. Yeah. Quite how we wanted that to go. Just play more voids. Surely that will improve the situation somehow. Freaking got him. GG. 
There's the aggregate. I'll take that, rather than fourth hologram. I like aggregate because it's an energy generating card that does not put a uh, status card into the discard pile. So that's quite valuable to us. Feels like hologramming Sunder is a good idea. Kill these newfangled minions coming in. I choose violence. I just just get go for the eyes and all for one here. I'm down to just get to go for the eyes and then play reboot. Could also use the flex potion here, along with the core surge to get some kills. It's not too unreasonable. Oh, there's also Bullseye. I missed that. Nothing to hologram. That's any good. So I'm going to play Leap and Reboot. Let's see what happens here. Recycle and Aggregate. Good. Recycle the Auto Shields. Play the Aggregate. Now I have eight more energy suddenly and a Skim Plus, and the deck is going nuts. Good. That's what you want to see. Cycle this thing. Perfect. Play Meteor Strike. And turn. Get destroyed, lady. All for one, oddly enough. Don't ask. multicast and then we waited patiently Paladin Dragon Slayer thanks for 11 months of support one away from a full year Bzorp Imagine that like 40 more times. You mean I paid all this money for nothing? Sure, whatever. Give me another one. <laughs> Just take it. Who needs double energy when you have triple reboot? The rebootification. Installing software updates. Deck. Can I have some energy, please. No. No one is willing to provide energy. Accept that as energy.
So wait, I can go Recursion, Multicast, Meteor Strike. Well, Sunder, Meteor Strike. Hologram, Meteor Strike. That seems kind of insane. Don't mind me, I'm just playing Meteor Strike. A lot. Definitely mixed feelings on the overclock. The Blip Blap. Liquid memory is always welcome here. Do we want a second go for the eyes? Mostly for kunai reasons and for removing hand clog reasons. It would be consistent weaken on heart, consistent kunai activation. I think this is worth it, number two here. I might even be able to upgrade that one. That means we don't need a weak potion. Medical kit would definitely improve this deck if we found it at the last shop and had enough money for it. It'd be kind of cool. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Dark orbs for me. It's fine. turning all of that into energy now. All of it? All of it. Reboot. Yes. Excellent. Aggregate. Darkness plus. M -m 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 Multicast. And he's gone. We get a bottled lightning. And there are many cool options. We can bottle Aggregate, which seems kind of amazing. We could also bottle one of the reboots. We could bottle Violence. We could bottle Skim. Lots of good options. Puddle Defend. We don't have any defense, actually, so we can't do that, I'm afraid. I think the reboot bottles are quite good. But aggregate might be better. Really like having that guaranteed early energy. Since the card does scale with the number of cards in the draw pile. 10 more max health is very helpful. Yeah, exactly. Now we can aggregate Meteor Strike this turn.
Meteor Strike. I think that's the Neon achievement, by the way, for this turn. Maybe that was only two Meteor Strikes. Doesn't matter. We block for a million now. Toast. Kerbal app. Smiling Mask means we can afford to remove a card at the final shop. If we want some turn one block, boot sequences here, although I think that's questionable with the bottled aggregate, actually. Could argue for another compile driver. I think that's a pretty good argument. I'll take one more of these. Yeah, it reduces our turn one draw by a lot, although we may sometimes just keep the aggregate for turn two, of course. That is allowed. Although we can do plenty of damage turn one here, and I can always hologram... Actually, wait, we can do aggregate, hologram, aggregate, multicast, right? Let's just do that. That's tremendous damage here. Um, that's actually just a kill. Boom. One recycle's good. How about two? I say yes. Now we're done with energy cards. Not even one meteor strike. getting somewhere. And now we are somewhere. Okay, let's look at the options here. It's finally time to make energy. Let's get rid of this too. Cast right now. And all for one returning some pretty good stuff. this works. Didn't have to be this way, but I chose that it would be this way. Yeah, burn void incoming, we just draw nothing. It's totally possible. But no, we get, we get hot nonsense is what we get. The best kind of hot nonsense. Hologram and a whole bunch of skims. Or skimming a whole bunch of holograms. Other way around. So we just draw cards forever.
Get a Pantograph, healing us 25 at the sort of boss fights. And we could take another Recursion or a Machine Learning. I really don't think we need either of those. This deck is nothing but hot nonsense, and you love it. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Dark Shackles Plus, you say? That's pretty powerful. Clockwork Souvenir is also here to block Vulnerable from Hearts. I really do like things that let us survive the heart more easily. If we're looking at cards to remove, what would I purge here? Most of these cards have a decent purpose. Wouldn't mind losing self-repair. Wouldn't mind losing auto shields. But yeah, if we keep all of our money for next shop, we can we can have the full set of options. Which could result in another card mastery. Is there anything this duplication potion makes particularly powerful? Still looking for ways to lock in our heart victory here. I wouldn't say that we're assured to beat heart currently. Uh, although the longer the fight goes on, the better our odds, which makes me think that we do want Clockwork Souvenir here to try to lock in our reboot mastery. I'd rather just get these done one at a time, the final three. But it's true, it's possible we find another violence. It's also possible we lose. Let's take the souvenir here. Pretty good turn one. Did 140 damage. Set ourselves up to full block Nemesis is nonsense. Now that we have a million dexterity. Kunai is really gonna be our one of our main win conditions for the late game here. Kunai does good work. Gambling chip can discard any number of cards on turn one and draw new cards again. Neat. Relics helpful, cards are not. Definitely too late for algorithm, even algorithm plus here. Gotta skip this and recall. Yeah, who needs bottled reboot, right? Although, theoretically, this is slightly anti-synergistic with Aggregate. No, it isn't, because you don't want turn ones that look like this. Although, I do want a turn one that looks like this. It's not that much better. Alright, good luck to us. I'm not going to use my potions here. Uh, I think we can very easily lose some health and heal it with Pentagraph, no problem. Could aggregate multicast, but no, I shan't. We're gonna aggregate into skin. There we go. Could multicast this dark orb, maybe. This is a great fight for using the two recycles to thin out the deck quite aggressively. Dual cast. Play darkness, compile driver, draw three. Hologram recycle is the route I'm going to take in this fight. 
Um, self repair. Energy, please. Let's get rid of some zero cost cards so I can use the recycles more aggressively. Turbo, you're out. Good turn. Overclock, you're purged. Hmm. There we go. The goal is keep deleting cards for the moment. Gain dexterity with kunai. Perform other shenanigans. There we go, three different types. Let's get rid of auto shields. Get two recycles in the discard pile. Perfect. Pull for one of them back into my hand. Get rid of this, go for the eyes. Draw cards. Get rid of bullseye. Form shenaniganry. Uh, what else do we want to delete here? This is cheating. It feels like cheating. It certainly feels like cheating sometimes. Just your average defect run. <laughs> Never stop taking your turn. Pro tip. Never ever stop taking your turn. Cycle Equilibrium, draw three, hologram, they recycle. What else are we getting rid of here? Looks like I want to keep Meteor Strike. We can get rid of Aggregate, though. Where we're headed, we're not going to be able to use that ever again. Cool-headed. Hologram, skim, draw some cards, get rid of Zap, and Recursion, Light Darkness, just multicast now, that sounds good. 100 block, by the way. Big Chan with seven months, thank you so much for the continuing support. Been somewhat consistently winning A20 defect, or rather, been somewhat consistently winning A20 heart thanks to you, but you're in a slump on defects. Cannot get through Act 2. Yeah, Act 2 as defect is, is definitely tricky. Some suggestions uh, potentially consider avoiding elites in Act 2 if you don't have good area damage. Prioritize cards like Doom and Gloom, Sweeping Beam, and Sunder. Prioritize grabbing a couple of decent block cards like Leap or Steam Barrier as well. Try to avoid too many powers. Powers are what will really get you killed in Act 2, especially. Those stinky powers, man. Right, we're actually just good as we are, right? We no longer need Meteor Strike. So I can do this. GG. The Dolger, why did, or actually not for the Dolger, who requested a dead joke? 
Awesome jelly. Why did the defect want to become a wizard? They wanted to learn how to multicast. McFi with a tier one sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. Good. Double hologram, you say? Good. Let's get rid of this. More energy, please. Perfect, I think. Maybe. Actually, it's kind of unclear. Draw. There we go. Meteor Strike is back. Might just recycle it, though. We're so close to winning this already. Could use another Plasma. Is this still turn one somehow? Ridiculous. So anyway, I started skimming. Perfect. And then zap time. Hell pet, thanks for the tier one sub and the 10 months of support. The full metric year. Oh, you're still alive somehow. Wait, can I fix that? Yes. Turn one KO on Donu Deca. GG. To thump, to thump, to thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all this energy? You charge your meteor strike to its maximum, dealing 25 18 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Two thump. What a wild run this is. Get one last upgrade. Upgrading Bias Cog actually seems reasonable here. We are using orbs, including frost orbs. And we're able to block that debuff with, a, with Core Surge, so I think it's actually quite good. Let's do that. Dual cast for the energy discount also looks pretty solid there as a final upgrade. Can all relax, there was no violence in the final shop. Just a cool headed and a capacitor and some pretty lousy potions. I'm quite happy having spent the money on the clockwork souvenir. All right, let us stride forth into the final battles. Again, there's not a single thing we can afford. Let's see how we do. This fight shouldn't be too bad, based on a few things. This is a great turn one draw. Oh, it's a great turn one draw. We got all for one, too. So let's recycle dual cast.
All for one gets back overclock. I'll take that. I'm not going to play the turbo, though. Could all for one overclock again? I don't like adding too many burns, though, since we're planning on playing reboot here. I do want to draw as many cards as possible. Let's hollow the cool headed then. Good. No turbo, just play reboot. Oh, I like this. This I like quite a bit. For next turn, we have multicast, all for one, aggregate, equilibrium, and the go for the eyes to let me do some stuff. We're going to get two burns added directly on top of the draw pile. Our draws next turn could be pretty bad, but I'm okay with that. Tuesday's green. Thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Koozie Sub Club. Oh, and we got reboot. Perfect. So let's get rid of these burns then. Recycle burn. Play this. Play this. Play this. Recycle the other burn. Weaken you. Gain dexterity. Play this. Now play this next. Multicast. Gain a ton of energy. Then bullseye equilibrium. Six more cards. Six more cards. Burn. I'm going to keep this Plasma Orb. Don't play this multicast. Or we could just keep this multicast. I'm also down to keep this, but I, I want to be able to use the energy now. Let's try one more time. Yeah. That's the one. That was the correct card draw. Now they're both dead. Now they are both very dead. Cast in the draw pile, in the draw pile. There you are. No relics to set up, you're dead. Beautiful. But again, that was I uh, turn two? That was turn two. More energy on turn one. We can take an energy potion, but I think I like liquid memories and swift potion here. We can add fusion or capacitor. Capacitor I like, actually, for the hard fight. A little bit. Makes the compile driver able to draw four. It's pretty cool. Let's take a capacitor here. We definitely create enough orbs. All right, we have full health, two decent potions, and a lot of goodness going into this heart fight. I think our odds are pretty high to be victorious here, with the prize, of course, being... Mastery of Reboot. Let me keep this entire hand. I want to play Steam Barrier... Aggregate, Hologram, Aggregate, Capacitor, Reboot. I'll take one from that. Yeah, blood, Bloody Idol healed zero, so objectively it was correct to not take this. That's really funny. Could have had five more max health and more money. Whoops. 
Fighting. Ow. Oh, wonderful. We got multi Meteor Strike in play, and we can multicast for a ton of damage. Note that we don't actually want to do the same thing in this fight that we've done in previous fights, where we multicast one orb for as big as possible in order to deal maximum damage, because the heart can't take more than 200 damage in one turn. So even if I evoke a dark orb for 30 times 50, it doesn't matter, because the heart just takes 200. But 8 times 16 is quite a lot. That gets us off to a really good start in this fight. We did 160 damage turn one. And now we have three plasma orbs. And we're going to block vulnerable. The only thing that didn't go well is that we didn't... gain dexterity. I guess I could Liquid Memories Meteor Strike and use the Swift Potion to try to keep going here. I think we'd rather do that turn two, but maybe Runic Pyramid means we don't want to. I do like getting closer to capping on damage here, right? We do another 24. Just trying to think of what advantage we can get from the Liquid Memories on a different turn. I guess we have more flexibility. We can get Hologram or something for important blocks. Eh, we're fine. We're fine. Multi-hit first. It's only going to be 1 by 15 here. Auto Shields gets to do stuff. Good job, Auto Shields. And then I believe I want to hologram multicast. Go dual cast. Multicast. Hologram. Meteor strike. Can also cycle holograms a lot to get blocked, but currently the holograms are not blocking for very much each. You need to gain some dexterity before that matters. So let's play Sunder and gain dexterity here. Then reboot. Hey, look, Auto Shields played again this turn for value. How does that work? Explain how. I think now I want to use the Swift Potion. Yeah, that felt right. All right, hologram, auto sh shields. Play auto shields again. <laughs> Make that make sense. Hologram... Auto... Shields? Hello? Let's do it. Why not? No, we won't have the right number of block, actually. Let's give dexterity now. So I'm going to go, go for the eyes, Sunder, Hologram, Hologram, Hologramming, Hologram, Hologramming, Hologram, and then plays out. Oh, 
I'll take it. Hmm. That's not what I wanted to see. Could just reboot. I'd really like to find the recycle so I can get rid of wound and or burn. Hmm. So I'm gonna hologram dual cast. A lot more energy. That's slightly better. I'm gonna play Reboot. This is a real shame of a draw, though. No, no, we have to push onward. Go for the eyes over clock. Jeez. Two more attacks in the draw pile. Trying to get Recycle here. Still. There we go. Whew. Okay. Salvation is arrived. I'm gonna play Leap. Turbo Recycle Burn. Hologram fetching, hologram, fetching, hologram, fetching, recycle, recycle wound. Probably just let these go. Although maybe I wanted to hologram all for one. This is not that much damage. Completely okay with how this is going. Let's just end the turn here. Keep this liquid memories. Take comparatively level little. Still have lots of health, and I'm feeling like we're in a really good position now. Do we still need Meteor Strike? That's part of my question today. This turn. Got bullseye applied. We could do some serious damage by just multicasting. Kinda dig that. really dig that. And I still keep the two plasmorbs. Yeah, let's just do this. Play Steam Barrier for block. Bias Cog for focus. Recycle Meteor Strike. And dish out the damage. Caps the heart this turn. End turn. Actually, maybe he wanted to reboot there. No, I like this just fine. Auto Shields, here to save the day. Good job, Auto. Perfect. Get rid of that. Fly bullseye. Looks like we're in the clear here, Twitch chat. This is what you want to see. Two fourteen full block. We now have six points of dexterity. Um, where's the other recycle? Discard pile. Cool. Barely worth it. Get rid of 
that. up yes perfect we get to set up the exact kill gg if you enjoyed that video watch this one next and don't forget to check out baylor lord plays for variety content click the blue baylor icon to subscribe